Lakeshore friends, Stacy here, and today we're going to have fun with symmetry. Do you know what it means when we say something has symmetry? Well, stay tuned and I'll tell you more. So when we say something has symmetry, it means the exact reflection or mirror image of a line, shape, or object gets created. Let me help you understand symmetry a little better. To give you a better idea of symmetry, I'm going to take a piece of paper and fold it in half. Next, I'll take a pencil or a marker and starting at the paper fold, I'm going to draw a fun squiggly line and end at the paper fold as well. Then using my scissors, I will cut on my line. Now if you're going to try this at home, be sure to ask permission before using the scissors. So now when I open it up, you can see an imaginary line right where my fold was, imaginary line of symmetry passing through the center, dividing my shape into identical halves. So we say that this shape has symmetry because each half is an exact reflection or mirror image. All right, now it's your turn to show off your symmetry skills. And all you need is some painter's tape and any type of crafting material like pipe cleaners, straws, popsicle sticks, Basically, as long as it'll lay flat while you're creating, it should work just fine. But remember, if you're not sure if you should be using it, always ask for permission first. Now that I have my materials gathered, I'm ready to begin. I'm gonna tear off a piece of my painter's tape and lay it down on my surface. This is creating that imaginary line of symmetry. I also chose different color pipe cleaners and I cut them to different lengths just to make my design a little more interesting. Now I'm ready to start laying it out. And this is where you can really have a lot of fun and use your imagination and play with the different lines and the different colors. And I believe my design is complete. Now that I've finished my design over on this side, I want it to have symmetry, right? I want that exact reflection or mirrored image on the other side. So I have to think about that piece of paper that I folded and cut out earlier, whereas if I close these two sides up, they're going to completely match. So what I need to do is really think about how it would look on this side. Hmm. No. Ah, now I got it. We want to make sure that we don't give up, that we continue to keep trying and persevere through because we can do it. We set our mind to it. I think I'm just about finished. There we go. Now my design has symmetry. Both sides are identical and have that mirrored image. You know, it's also fun if you ask a family member or a friend to start a design and then you finish it by giving it symmetry on the opposite side. Here's another fun activity you can do with a partner. Think of it as you build and I build, meaning my partner will lay down a part of the design and I need to create the exact reflection or mirror image one step at a time. You build, I build. You build, I build. You build, and I build. Continue back and forth until the design is complete. Well, friends, I hope you have hours of fun being creative and working on your symmetry skills. And before I leave, I have one last little trick up my sleeve for you. I folded another piece of paper 
and from paper fold to paper fold, I drew half a heart. Now I'm gonna cut out on the line. And when I open it up, you can see my line of symmetry and I have two mirrored images that are exactly alike. So I've made a wonderful heart that shows symmetry. And once you do this, you'll have a nice card to write something to somebody you love. And my heart is for all of you because I love all the learning that you've been doing. Bye friends, and I'll see you again next time. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos. Plus, visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.